Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my Gemini Crafts Facebook page and my Facebook Live this afternoon. You don't often get to see me face to face, but I thought I would today um, just so that I can say hi. I hope everybody is keeping well. It's been beautifully sunny this afternoon, and although there's been clouds intermittently, um, it has been nice and sunny. So, hi Katie, thanks for joining us. So, if you're joining us live, you will see a little live rectangle in the top left hand side of your screen if you're watching on a laptop um, or on your mobile. So, do say hi and let me know that you're watching live. It's always nice to um, be able to talk to people and know that they're there. If you're watching on catch up or replay and you have any questions, feel free to add in the comment section either on Facebook or you can comment on YouTube and um, ask any questions there and I'd be more than happy to help you. Oh, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> so I deliberately put my microphone over on my desk so that I didn't forget forgetting that I was actually going to go um, face to face first. So thank you Babsy, I've got my microphone here. When I switch onto my crafting desk, I'll move my microphone over. Oh, Louise is watching from her sunny garden. How very nice, <laughs> excellent. Well, thanks for joining me Louise. Um, so today we are carrying on with our technique session for the week. So we've had different stamping techniques and today is an old one but a good one and many of my customers will have done this either in coffee and card or in our classes um, face to face and that is the baby wipe technique where you take a baby wipe and correct, uh, create your own ink pad using multiple um, inks and for that we're going to use our ink refills so all of our stamping up inks have a refill that you can purchase for it and that means that you can top up your ink pad at any time and it is recommended that you buy the refill when you buy the ink pad if you can and then you know that you've got the um, coordinating set of both. But today I'm just going to be using in the main the ink refills to create our own multicoloured ink pad. So, um, hi Jeanette, I am going to pop you over to my um, crafting table and at the same time I'm going to remember to move my microphone over. So let us get crafting. Okay, so I did remember to bring my microphone. I hope that's loud and clear for you. I have got my lights on, um, even though it is sunny. Let me just uh, make sure everybody is where they should be so that I can see any comments. So let us get cracking with the baby wipe technique. So traditionally, uh, we've obviously used um, baby wipes. Oh, Karen's in cloudy Ottawa today. Oh, bless you, Karen. Um, so the trick quite often with this sort of technique is actually to use the cheapest wipes available because they don't have a lot of lint um, and odd bits and pieces so you really want cheap and cheerful for this technique um, all, I, all I have actually are these Huggies ones and they're not particularly wet because they've been open for quite a while it's a pure water one um, so what I am going to do is dampen this a little bit further. But basically what we're going to do is create our own ink pad using the baby wipe as the basis. So let us give it a go. So I've got this one here, um, which just has been out a little while. So I'm actually going to spritz it with some water. So I'm just using a silicon mat underneath just so I don't... Um, make my work surface too wet. Move out the butterflies from yesterday. 
and I've got one of our spritzers. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. So I've got one of our spritzers. It's quite well stained because it's obviously had um, it's had some copper shimmer paint in it. Hi Verity. Um, but I, all I'm going to do is just spritz this um, to make it a little bit wetter um, because it is, it is rather a dry baby wipe. In fact, I might even need more than that. I'm actually going to fold this over again like so. Thank you. Thank you, Verity. All right, let's just make that a little bit wetter. Maybe even a bit more. Okay. So what I have in mind, and this is in my mind, so it is one of those, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but let's give it a go. Um, you can see I had a little practice. So, yes. <laughs> those are clean. <laughs> They're just rather well stained. Um, so what I'm going to do is I thought um, um, two cards. One is Hydrangea Haven, which you know I love. And I did a class based on this. And so what I'm going to do is going to stamp this um, Hydrangea, but I'm going to use this fill-in Hydrangea using some different colours. So that's my theory. And then I've also got, and it's funny that Verity should be here. Hi, Carol, with an E, because I know Verity used this one the other day for her um, YouTube video and her blog hop. Um, so I might use that as well with some greens. We'll see how we go. So um, I'm going to do the inking up. Actually, I'm going to do, let me do the stamping of the hydrangea first because I don't want to hang around too much. And I brought some of our Brights inks out. So all of our inks come in ink families. These are all the Brights. Um, and what I'm going to do for the Hydrangea one is I've got Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and a bit of Blushing Bride, so a bit of pink. So I've got pink and some purples in there. Um, and then I'll use some blues and greens, perhaps, for the other one. Hi, Molly. Oh, hi, Kate. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good old tr traditional one, um, baby wipe technique. So I'm going to stamp this hydrangea first. Um, no guesses. What colour I'm going to stamp this in. And I've pre-prepared a... Um, a sheet cut with um, <laughs> Nature's Thoughts um, matching dies. Let me just grab, oh, I was going to grab early espresso, but it's on the floor. That's why I couldn't find it yesterday when I was looking for it. It obviously slipped off. So I'm just going to stamp the outline of the hydrangea onto here to start with. I've just got some small pieces of grid paper to um, try out. So just inking this up with early espresso. So all of our, as I say, all of our stamping up inks can be refilled. So just inking that up. And I'm going to pop this on here. So hopefully it will go on there nicely. Like so. So I'm just stamping that in early espresso. Like so. There it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own ink pad. So instead of having to um, colour this in either with blend pens or in multiple colours with um, blend pens or inks, I'm going to create a little ink pad that has got a mixture of purples and pinks on it. So this is my folded up 
baby wipe and I say when you open a pack of baby wipes they're usually very wet this is a nearly finished packet of baby wipes so it's quite dry so I'm just spritzing it with water you could just uh, dip it under the tab I guess and then this is Highland Heather so what I'm going to do is pop some drops on there like so like that and then this is blushing bride so I want a little bit of pink I could have chosen petal pink but blushing bride will do and then just putting these next to them like so now the nice thing about this is when you've made an ink pad like this you can use it for quite a lot of stamping you can add back in if you need extra ink so although I'm only doing I'm probably only doing one with this normally I would recommend you do a whole series because obviously that makes it more worthwhile with your ink refill so these bottles are three pounds fifty each and they contain how much do they contain half a fluid ounce for just under 15 millilitres and that's plenty to re-ink your ink pads on a regular basis so now what I'm going to do is take this stamp here and ink this up and I'm just going to try it on a piece Verity's never used this technique I can't believe that well there you go it's nice to be able to show something to somebody that hasn't seen it because I know a lot of my customers have seen it so what I'm going to do is place this on the block place my, place my stamp onto my ink pad now what you don't want to do is do too much rubbing and movement because you'll move the inks around so you can re-ink it a few times but keep it in the same um, rough position if that makes any sense and so now I know this is on scratch paper I've got my um, pattern building up in there so what I am going to do is add a little bit more of the inks perhaps I shouldn't have folded it up quite so much but there we go now this is a a stamp that has um, patches of color on it so you're not going to get a full-blown solid image you would if you inked it up with a solid stamp okay but remember this is one of our distinctive stamps okay I'm not being brave and oh it's worth a go Carol it's worth a go you know literally a few drops of ink here and there it's worth it and there's another technique you can do with this as well which I'll show you okay so I'm going to ink this up again I am going to just wipe this down in between because I don't want to contaminate it too much so transferring that ink onto my stamp and then I'm going to put it onto here now there is an exact way for this but I'm not worrying too much because I don't want to leave it too long hello Jill is it evening already it's not long after five please tell me it isn't evening <laughs> okay so there we've got our transferred image okay taken from there onto there and this is obviously quite obvious where I've done the two bits and pieces if you had the same color which I'm going to do for the leaves like for example different greens or greens and yellows 
um, as opposed to opposing colours, you get quite a different look. So what I'm going to do is just create a little um, green patch because I want to stamp in these leaves here. So I'm just going to hold on to that. You can see how that's gone through. So what you can do is keep this in a sealed um, box for the time being. And if you want to use it again, you can just spritz it. So let me just show you that. So you can just wet it again because obviously it will dry out on there, like so. And then when you want to use it with something else, let me just use it with a, a leaf. Yeah, late afternoon, definitely. <laughs> Hi, Maretta. Thanks for joining us today. It's still enjoying your what's left of your week, I hope. <laughs> okay, so it may there may not be nothing on this one to show. No, it's not because this is a really detailed one. Um, but you see, it's picked up the. The darker of the ink the, the pink is very pale i can see it but i don't think you can from there okay so let me just wipe that down and i'm just doing going to do an element with green i'm going to lift that off from there let me grab the green uh, the leaf stamp ready so it's this one here that i want I'm going to pick it up from here. Oh, good. And I'll put a sentiment on after. Oops. So, this stamp is going to fit over there. Okay. So, let me grab another baby wipe and as I said the, um, the cheaper the baby wipes for this the better this is almost like a cloth um, and you really want um, sort of <laughs> non-cloth version for want of a better description I know that sounds crazy doesn't it okay I'm just going to spritz this to start with because these really are quite dry So that was the dirty one. Okay. And this time I'm going to use a little bit of yellow and green. So this is Granny Apple Green. Oh, excuse me. technique is great for um, leaves and flowers and um, dare I say it Maretta butterflies um, anything where you want a mixture of colors Rem always reminds me a bit of tie-dyeing <laughs> because you drop the the colors into that don't you and then scrunch it up or whatever okay so for this one and again Oh, I'm going to have to be a bit careful about how I ink this up. Because I don't want to take it off. Okay. I'm going to wipe my fingers down. And now I'm going to transfer this one to here. Let me just see, is that in your line of sight, I hope? Ah, oh, sealed plastic. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I should do the same, shouldn't I? There we go. 
hopefully that's in roughly the position I need there we go so can you see the effect of the multiple colors so I say it's really good for um, variegated leaves okay and the best effect is where you actually have a solid stamp try and think um, what I've got that is more solid let me have a look and see so this one here is more solid from art gallery let's just put that to one side for a second Let's just grab that and the stalk. Just that. I'm just being conscious not to get anything too too wet. So this is a more solid. Um, image here so I'm going to try this one might be better okay so I'm just going to add a little bit more ink into this it was quite yellow wasn't it so I'm going to go back to my granny apple green just add that in there Hopefully you will see this a little bit better. There we go. So there we are. That's a bit clearer in terms of that transfer of colour. So let's do... Just going to keep that one to one side for a minute. Um, choose me some bright colours for my flower. Um, also I've got my brights here. So I've got um, Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo, Pacific Point, Mango Melody. Choose me some colours and I'll stamp the main stamp image thank you Kirsty so Kirsty's going for flirt and flamingo as one of them so I could do flirty flamingo and melon mambo together let's try that let's give them a go so this is melon mambo and you can sort of bear in mind the shape of your um, flower image so do it according oh it's about to run out according to the shape I have got another one I'm sure so if it's a long a long thing line of trees for example you wouldn't need to make it like that you can make it into a long line okay so this is flirty flamingo put it on there and let's have a little bit of mango maybe around the edges Yeah, every work is different. You're quite right, Karen. And it's one of those, you know, you've got to be experimental and you've got to be prepared to play. It is, Jennifer, it's a baby wipe. 
and I, as I was saying earlier, the cheaper the baby wipe, the better. These are unfortunately <laughs> relatively expensive baby wipes, and they really do um, they do all the absorbing, which they're supposed to. Um, so there we go. There we go. That's a better example of it, isn't it? like so so you've got three colors in there we've got the mango on the outside flirty flamingo and, ma and mer melon mambo now what i could do with this is find the stamp set and add this detailed one just straight on top which is this one here so you could pick out one of the colors to do that a damp kitchen towel yes it would the only thing you have to it has to be really quite wet and the only thing is you may notice on here there's a little pattern including a teddy bear so what will happen is those patterns will actually get transferred which can be useful if you like it but if you want a solid image and this little teddy bear pops up you might be a little bit disappointed so I'm going to take the um, deeper one of those and stamp over it okay um, so I think I'm going to do melon mambo on top oh honey bottle promise yes it is you're quite right and in fact it is almost honeysuckle like because it's quite open isn't it so yeah and often um, kitchen kitchen rolls have pattern in them don't they which is why as I say the really cheap um, you know quite ha not harsh I can't think of the word but not you know not soft Oh, I've run out of words today, ladies. Okay, just going to stamp this on here to see how it looks. Yep, so I'm going to stamp this on top as my highlight. It's a while since I've done this set now. I think that's about right. There we go. So we've got the detail over the top of that and I think that works I think that works particularly well so um, what have I learnt it's best not to use one of our distinctive stamps because um, this it's too fine too fine a stamp if I try it with this loyal leaves I know the color is um, is wrong but I, you'll see what I mean, I think. So there's just, because the lines are too fine, um, it doesn't transfer over as well as a solid image. And the nice thing about this is that you could carry on. So you could add another colour to this, or you could keep re-inking it, or you keep, keep spritzing. So the spritz will make it wet but eventually the colours will all bleed together and you'll end up with a bit more of a, a bit more of a mess for want of a better description. So let me just finish this off and then I've got another method to show you with a baby wipe. So I'm just going to add a sentiment to that. Um, I might use one from here um, with love. about time I sent another card to my mum so oh no that says for you with love is what I want there it is so just going to stamp that in 
want the smaller blocks, sorry ladies. Uh, melon Mambo. Let's bring this back in for a second. <laughs> Make it look so easy. Well, it is really easy, I promise you. <laughs> Karen Copycoat. <laughs> it is really easy. And you're only using a few drops of any ink, so it's not... Um, you know it's not expensive if you do it and you don't like it it's not the end of the world there we go there's with love so i'm going to pop that onto a note card and envelope and i'm going to put a melon mambo layer behind it before i do that i want to show you one more thing and then i'll finish that one off and let me see if i can do it on here this is actually just a piece of an off cut um, but what you can do is take a baby wipe. This is almost dry now. It's unbelievable. Okay. And this time you're going to use the edge of the baby wipe. So I'm going to spritz this one first. I'm just going to do it away from my paper. And I'm spritzing it because that was really um, dry. Okay, so what you can then do is drop the ink onto the edge like so. You've got to not mind getting dirty on this one. <laughs> and let's do, let's do this one <laughs> Chloe says it's going to be good mm, we'll see so this is flirty flamingo going in between you can have lots of different colors on here if you wanted to you could have a complete rainbow if you wished and then what you're going to do is run that along your paper I made it perhaps a little bit too long Tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this down on here. Okay, so what you can do then is literally draw that along your paper. And if you're careful to sort of reline it, you can then go over it again if you need to. There we go. So quite <laughs> bright colours I have chosen. Oh, bless you, Kay, no worries. So there you've got the ink going across, okay, just by putting it on the edge and dragging it down. Now this works particularly well on... Um, shimmer or glossy paper we don't we don't carry glossy paper anymore um, but you can get that really cool effect and that could be three colors that could be four colors and you could you know die cut from that um, let's see what we've got left on this one here this might come out as a muddy mess I don't know but we've got nothing to lose except my spritzer so i'm just spritzing it away from the screen from the camera and i'm just going to run that along here So this one's dried up a bit, but you can imagine this. If you had this really wet and went across there, you could get a really stunning effect. So that was just using... <laughs> Look at my hands. Oh, oh dear. Right. I'm going to have to wipe these down. So, yeah, don't do this technique if you don't like getting your hands dirty. Or if you do... 
um, have some gloves on, maybe. Although I find that gloves um, definitely um, impair my ability to hold things and feel things. Yes, that's what I thought, Lynn. Do some of the basics that we've all <laughs> that we've all forgotten about. Come on, Lynn. Yes. <gasps> hey ho! I'm a bit worried to make up that card now. <laughs> okay, so you can put it on the end, drag it across. Okay, that's another technique, and that would be lovely to cut a butterfly out of as well, like we did yesterday. Oh yes, it does rather. Yes. Water reflections. Yes, you do some nice a nice stamping of butterflies on there. Let's just do that as we're here. I'm hoping it's dry enough. Oh, sorry, Maretta. I, sh I should have warned you they were coming, shouldn't I? But they're little. Hopefully that will be all right. There we go. <laughs> so turn that background into <laughs> the topper of a card. Let me just see. Yeah, I reckon that will cut out on there. Let's just see that. Then I can make up those two, those two cards. I wasn't as happy with the height ranger that I did. Um, but as I say, that's because you really do need a fairly solid stamp to transfer over. My excuses. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so there we go, that's worked um, relatively well. And then this one, let's move that out of the way. So both of those with baby wipe techniques of different, thank you Marissa, <sighs> of different styles. So I'm going to pop those onto um, some note cards and envelopes. there and I may have a note card layer to match that would be nice thank you so what's the better Ooh. might be lucky I've got one melon mambo might be better for that oh I don't know actually that might be better in mango or good old espresso layer let me just see if I've got anything else so these are the note card layers that I keep ready at hand so we do those a lot at coffee and card and hopefully soon we'll be back to coffee and card at some point no there's a pretty butt so just going to layer these up add a little bit of a bling and they are done <laughs> I'm glad I beat you to it. Dear, dear. So my hands are actually dry. <laughs> Would you believe it? Probably not. OK, 
Okay, so these layers are three and a quarter inches by four and three quarters. Oh gosh, that's so bright on the other side. <laughs> I don't know why I swapped glues, I'm sure. Pre-cut your basic white layers, yeah, that's a good idea. Just moving that around, put it in place. And if this was like a watercolour paper and you weren't happy with this, you could go back in and add a little bit more water or a little bit more ink. So these are the base cards. Just going to fold this in half. Looking for my phone folder which is looking a little bit worse than there <laughs> but it still does nicely so you'll recognize this design because I've done this design relatively recently but not using the baby white technique for the base flowers the white edges yes they do actually work don't they and yet if I tried to do that within the edges, it wouldn't have worked, would it? So yes, it does sort of make it stand out a little bit, doesn't it? So that one's going to go onto there. Okay, so that's not stuck down, is it? And there'd also be nothing to stop you stamping more on here as well as a background or adding some dots or dottage as Ruth would say. So if you wanted to do that, pop this one down. Hello. Hello. I'm good, thank you. But I am live. Okay, let's pop that on there. And then add a little bit of bling. Oh, embossing folder on the background, yes. Or putting that through an embossing folder. Yep, exactly. So I'm just going to add a little bit of bling to those. And uh, one of the good ways to get rid of ink like this is to use either something like washing up liquid um, or to wash your hair. That always works quite well. And it's a bit unfortunate I've got all ink all over my hands because I've got to do some more recording in a minute. <laughs> so I should have thought of that before I got quite so dirty, shouldn't I? Never mind. Okay, so I've got um, some bling here. So this actually is Bumblebee and this is Magenta Madness. But I think I might get away with it on there because it's not too close that you'd notice it. Pink hair. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look and see if I put pink on here. If I can, mm, I don't think I'll get away with that on there. Now I've just put it down. Not quite the right pink. But I might get away with the bumblebee on here. And then I'm going to put the plain gems on the other one. One, two. And 
three. So there's that one, like so. And then just finally, just find my plain rhinestones. There we go. And I'm just using the medium sized one so I can cover up there. That one. One, two, and three. There we go. So, as I say, an old technique um, revisited, a bit like we did yesterday. So this is a baby wipe technique, putting it on the edge of a sponge or a baby wipe and then drawing it across. And then this one here was dropping the colours of ink onto a baby wipe, spritzing with a bit of water, mainly because my baby wipes were so dry and then using that as an ink pad and then inking up and stamping so this is one set of colors this one here is granny apple green and must be daffodil delight daffodil delight so there we go oh thanks Bazzy. thank you very much so we are all done for today thank you so much for joining me um, I really appreciate your company. Now, I will be back tomorrow, but it will be 7 p.m. tomorrow because um, I'm out all day somewhere else and I won't be back in time for 5 o'clock. So it'll be live at 7 p.m. on Friday evening. And then for those of you that have my class in a box, that will be on Sunday afternoon, 2 till 4 p.m. Oh, bless you, Carol. So Sunday, I've actually got a class two till four, but I will, um, if we finish it in fairly swiftly, I will open the um, link afterwards. I'll send you a copy of the link so that you know um, where it is. Okay, Carol. So thank you, everybody. Um, take care. Have a nice evening. Um, take time to look after yourselves, look after your loved ones. And, of course, I hope in the meantime you can keep crafting. Thanks for joining me. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.